I just like to kind of state something for the record. And my point of view and perspective on the vast majority of the ways in this world, the things I've been subjected to even since childhood by all the systems of authority and those that have taken control of, you know, the education system of livelihoods of basically just about every facet of our existence on this planet, whatever this is. I just want to say whether it matters or not, I do not consent. I revoke any and all consent that's ever been coerced out of me. I do not consent to your wars and your rules, to your domination, despite all, I suppose despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage, you know, right? Like the song said, but really, If it matters at all, if any of these people are right and talk about this sort of thing, I do not consent to any of this crap subjected on me. I don't consent to being left in poverty. I certainly don't consent to just all the manipulation and you know, psychological operations that have happened against my life. I don't consent to the social operant conditioning and the Pavlovian conditioning. I don't consent to people who have no other right, uh, no more right than any other person to inflict or impose their will upon others. Any consent that's been taken from me has been a matter of coercion through threat of force through threat of uh, just, you know, series of threats throughout life, basically. And they say that silence implies consent, so I try to at least say that I don't consent to this. I don't consent to the way this world is turning out. I don't consent to the way it was before. I don't consent to all the evil that's been going on in this world. I have my doubts as to whether our consent matters in the least, uh, but certainly I've not agreed with the way things have been going here. I uh, really don't feel like I have any sort of mm, say power to do anything about it. So, try to keep my head down, I suppose. But, I am tired of this place. I'm tired of being treated like, uh, like some sort of mindless animal to be, you know, bossed over. Like, I mean... We're supposed to have unalienable rights. We're supposed to have freedom. We're not born to this earth to, to be servile, submissive, and passive, and weak, and, and just to be subjected to the will of men. Or any other, we're meant to be free. This I know, but it's not what I see in this world. I don't see freedom. I don't see liberty. I don't see, I think what I see is a world of just absolutely foaming at the mouth, madmen, uh, authoritarian control freaks at every turn, every corner have lost their minds and 
have assumed some role of as though they were our rightful masters, but I certainly don't see them that way and never will, never have. It's simply a matter that uh, it's, a, it's a matter of, you know, just trying to survive in this world. This world isn't a place of, you know, for people like me of uh, thriving and, and good time. And so many people are, are stuck in absurdly ridiculous conditions. And even the people who have, even the, even a lot of the people who are like multimillionaires and stuff, I'm going to be being honest. I mean, a lot of them are just getting totally screwed as well. You know, this place is uh, like a freaking global Jones plantation, you know. They cry out in pain as they strike us. They cry and raise banners of freedom as they strip us all of our freedom. They take the food and your ability to produce and to do for yourself away from you, replace it with servitude and pieces of paper. They say, good dog, do your job, do as you're told, consume, conform, obey, trust us, you know, we're going to demonstrate millions and millions of times over that the biggest liars in the world, blatantly, obviously, so much so that it becomes a common turn of phrase, but you know what? You're still gonna fucking believe us. <laughs> ah, and people do. I don't. But, I mean, a hell of a lot of nothing I could do about it, though. So, is what it is. All I'd really like to do is, like I heard on a podcast earlier, shout out to uh, <clears throat> Conspiracy, Super Conspiracy Thursday, you know, <laughs> right? <sighs> yeah, all I want to do like a whole lot of other people want to do is you know if this crazy world that they're building is gonna be like this I don't want any freaking part in it I want I want a dang uh, a retreat I want to go heck I just want a piece of piece of uh, good soil some timber and resources that I can use and build on. Four walls and a roof. The ability to produce my own food. And take water from, you know. And uh, what else do you need, really? That's it. But, you know, <laughs> I just want to be free, man, but I want to be left the hell alone. I want the control freaks 
and and the energy vampires and all the nosy nitpicking you know people that want to butt in and and insert themselves into my existence and and force me to you know badger and pester me and force me to, to do things against my will i just want to get the hell away from them that's it just want to get the hell away from them they can keep riding their ship of fools or their train to freaking crazy town all they like i just want to get the hell outside the walls of the fucking asylum that they're building and go back to and, and live the way that we were meant to live naturally free the only animal that pays to live on this planet <laughs> pretty much and the most slaughtered the most enslaved and the most slaughtered you may try to vegetarians may try to disagree but I think you'll see in time or Actually, if you look through history, the wars and all kinds of madness that spread throughout this so-called sane civilization. You call it civilized. It's crazy. <laughs> you call it being civilized. Civilized, huh? Right. Is what it's called when species hands over their freedom bends over to be ruled over by the will of other men. I just want to be free to live my life without having to starve to death or freeze my ass off in the cold. A roof over my head, a stove to heat my home, and find a way to basic, provide basic light and probably even some sort of refrigeration. I can find a way to live. I want to learn how to live the way that people are intended to live before this artificial construct was built up around us to turn us into fucking domesticated animals. Slaves in white collars, you know. <laughs> Working jobs we hate so we can buy shit that we don't need. You know. <laughs> yeah. I think William Wallace, Wallace said it pretty well. Free! Freedom. That's what I want. Dun, 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 Right? And you know what? When he, when he said, sang that song... Best things in life are free, but you can keep them for the birds and bees that need money. Well, his lyrics are actually a bit inaccurate, but I think I know what he meant. I mean, uh, you can't have this place is, is uh, you know, it's a slave system. We're ensnared to pieces of paper and to men somewhere far away typing away on a keyboard, making little notes on a belt pad saying, uh, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, you know. March to the beat of our drum. We'll tell you what to think, we'll tell you what to eat, we'll tell you what to wear, we'll tell you where to go, tell you where you can live, on and on and on. People who claim ownership of the 
earth, the sky, the seas, planets far away, <laughs> whatever you want to believe. And they claim ownership of us, put us down as uh, assets or property to some fucking corporation, or some sort of uh, <laughs> security deposit. Well, you know what? I didn't consent to that, and I don't consent to that, but that's just my two cents. Don't suppose it all matters at all in this situation. Yeah, money would make a heck of a difference. Now, see, I don't think that it's end all be all, and I think system, the way it's set up, it's all rigged now. It's a lot of horse crap, but... Situation could certainly be changed significantly. I mean, if I had some money, I'd just go buy land, set up a nice big, you know, perennial garden. I'd build my own little, little you know, little uh, slice of Eden. And I would live. The man is supposed to live, as God intended. Not part of some corrupt system, you know, says the uh, or Babylon, mother of harlots, you know, come out of her lest you be party to her sins and on and on, what is, you know, old Bible passage or whatever. Seriously. Gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. We gotta get out of this place Girl, there's a better way for me and you. Alright. Peace.